In the lighting world, you have DMX addresses, and in lasers, we have serial numbers, something not very human. The design is very human. So instead, we can do something more human, like static IP addresses for our laser fixtures. This is when you set a particular IP address to a particular fixture in your network so that you can identify them. A very common methodology might be to use 10.1.1. something, and you can see in our network map from LDI last year that we have 10.1.101 all the way down from 101 to 142 for all of our fixtures here, and then we have our beyond system here at 10.1.1.10. You also need to set your network mask for all of your fixtures, and in this situation here, we would do 255.255.255.0, allowing only these fixtures to see each other. A clever technique for IP addresses is to do it in order from left to right, top to bottom on your rig, so that you can identify the fixtures easily. To set an IP address on the FB4, go to the network setup, we'll uncheck auto IP, and we'll set 10.1.1.101 and our mask 255 across the board. In Windows, the best way to set your static IP address is to first go to your control panel, then go to network and sharing center, change adapter settings, edit the adapter you want to change, click change IPv4 settings, and fill it out to the IP address and settings you want. Yes, it is pretty stupid and long to get to this exact spot, but it is the best way to change it. When you're done, just press OK. Now the main benefit as a user to doing this is that in Beyond's hardware list, you can sort by IP, so you don't have to play guess and check about which fixtures where. If you'd like to learn more about networking in general for laser shows and entertainment, head to the link in our bio to go to the Pangolin Wiki and search up this document here.